This is Dr. Cray, and today we are going to focus on the second part of our diabetes mellitus discussion. We'll be discussing the management of diabetic ketoacidosis. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the management of diabetic ketoacidosis. Diabetic ketoacidosis, or DKA, we said, is an acute complication of diabetes mellitus. It most commonly occurs in type 1 diabetics, but there is a subpopulation of type 2 diabetics that we call ketosis-prone type 2 diabetes that DKA a can also occur in. This subpopulation uh, of type 2 diabetics are usually black, men with obesity, and new onset diabetes. DKA is, in fact, a medical emergency, so that means the first priority is going to be your ABCs. The person presents to the emergency room and you will start out your management with an initial evaluation or workup that includes a thorough but rapid history and physical examination. Your labs are going to include your ABG a CBC with a differential, your urinalysis, glucose, BUN, creatinine, and lights, or a Chem 7. 12 lead EKG, chest x ray, culture, and sensitivities as needed. And in doing this initial evaluation, you're doing a couple of things. You will be able to make the diagnosis of DKA as well as assess the precipitating cause. So typically or the classic presentation will be a child or an adolescent or as we mentioned that subpopulation of type 2 diabetics that will present with several days of polyuria, polydipsia, abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting on their physical examination. They will be hypotensive, tachycardic, cool small respirations. And they may have, if the precipitating factor happens to be infection, a fever. But there are specific diagnostic criteria for you to make or confirm the diagnosis of DKA. So the confirmation of DKA is a laboratory confirmation. Those criteria include a blood glucose of greater than 250 milligrams per deciliter, ABG with a pH of less than 7.3, bicarb of less than 15, ketonemia, and ketonuria. That will prompt you to start IV normal saline at one liter per hour. So we can summarize the diagnosis of DKA as hyperglycemia, ketonemia, and acidemia. And as I said, your initial evaluation in terms of your history, physical examination is going to give you some indications of the precipitating causes that we call the five eyes. Infections, so you'll see things like a fever and a leukocytosis with a shift to the left in a young individual, for example, ischemia 
whether or not it's myocardial infarction, cerebral ac vascular accident, or stroke. Uh, 12 lead EKG will give you indications of the MI. It may be iatrogenic. Is this an individual that was on corticosteroids, thiazide, diuretics can also do it? Do they have a pneumonia? So there you will have your uh, chest x-ray is useful in that respect. And we said you do culture and sensitivity as needed. Is it an interabdominal process? Is it pancreatitis? Is it cholecystitis? It may be a young individual that has type 1 diabetes and their first presentation will be DKA. So in that respect, insulin deficiency, is this an established diabetic that has stopped for whatever reason taking their insulin? So the precipitating cause is some type of stress in the body. Thank you very much for watching the video. And if you would like to take advantage of our USMLE courses, please use the promo code below.